Yes, my dear friend, very good morning to you wherever you are around the globe. This is Salon's Block and welcome to this very special edition, the Sunday edition of sports news or football news around the globe. More especially on Chelsea. That is why we are about to kick start right now on Chelsea. Yes, we are starting with Chelsea. Then we bring in some other news that we conclude with Chelsea. Bear with me. It is a great weekend and a lot of things were happening throughout and I'll have to bring out everything one by one. So take it from me. I'll still come back later in the day with exclusively Chelsea. But right now, it's a mixture of one or two other things, right? Let's get started with Chelsea. Chelsea insists that Romelu Lukaku's 38 million release clause must be met and that they will not consider any more loan moves for the striker. They will not consider any more loan moves for the striker. What does that mean? Yesterday, I told you that Napoli sporting director came up with an offer of 12.5 million, million euro, right? Or million pounds, yes. Plus an add-on of 2.7. Now, Chelsea has issued a statement in that regard. That Chelsea, they will not accept anything in, you know, less than the, what the actual release clause has stated, which is the 38 million pounds. Unless the club that is interested pay that amount in full, Chelsea will not consider that bid. Yes. And they also insist that a player is not going on loan anywhere. Few days ago, it also came up that AC Milan showed interest on a loan. Chelsea are saying, Romelu Lukaku is not going on loan any longer. If you are interested in a player, bring the 38 million pounds, that's a release clause, that has to stipulate, and we'll let him go. That is Chelsea's position. Meaning, the player himself, as he has already said, he already has a desire. He's looking at Saudi Pro League. He might end up going to the Saudi Pro League next season. Dear friend, it is up to the player now to decide with the offer that he might be receiving right now. I believe in the coming days, he will make his own decision. Because no loan move for you, and if there's no more loan for you, which club in Europe now want to take it? Even Napoli, look at the offer they are giving. When their own injury-prone player, Osimen, they 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 they, tack, they price him. His release clause is over hundred million pounds. They are now pricing Romelu Lukaku to fifteen million in all. You can imagine. So thank God Chelsea has issued this statement. Now it's up to the Saudi Pro League to make their move and pay the release clause for Romelu Lukaku. Dear friend, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Aston Villa must raise 60 million in player sales this summer to avoid being in breach of profit and sustainability rules. Yeah, Aston Villa, they are one of those clubs that must pay. They must pay, I mean, I mean sell players before the 30th of June to avoid the PSR rule breach. Yes, it's Aston Villa, they are one of those clubs. Dear friend, this is your breakfast news, so I'm, I'll be mixing it up. Just grab all as much as you can. So Aston Villa, they must sell. Which player do you think Chelsea can buy from Aston Villa? Do we need any player from there at all? Let me hear from you in the comment section, dear friend. Let me hear from you in the comment section. All right? Okay, quickly. You know, Nicholas Jackson, this is a breaking news, actually. Breaking news. Nicholas Jackson injured his ankle during the game last night. I mean, three days ago, Friday, uh, Friday night game. An MRI scan revealed a serious ankle sprain for Nicholas Jackson. He, was, he is playing currently with his Senegalese national team. Yes, and he got himself injured. The World Cup qualifies on the African continent. Nicholas Jackson was playing. We saw him. We watched our game where he even missed a clean, clear cut chance to score a goal for, you know, Senegal. Now he got himself injured. An ankle sprain, a very serious one. Uh, therefore, he will be unavailable for the next match on June 9th. The next match, which is on, uh, which is today, he'll be unavailable for today's game. Yes, tonight's game, Nicola Jackson will not be available because the scan shows that it's an ankle sprain. I just hope he'll be fit before the preseason begins. I believe that from now, Chelsea medi medicals, uh, medical team, they'll be thinking of how they can get him back and start treating him at once. It's very, very important. So you can get fit. Now that we are still working on our striker options, there is no conclusive or concrete evidence here that we have gotten our Alvarez or Sesco. <laughs> Even Asna are in our head of Chelsea in signing Sesco. So I'm just imagining if we are able to get Alvarez, 
Who do we go for? Gilkeres? That is a question I have been, I have been asking myself. If we miss out on Alvarez, because as now, now they are focused on Sesco. Yes, they are focused on Sesco. So Chelsea must do everything possible. And as a matter of fact, this coming week, yeah, we expect to hear great news on Michael Olise and Julian Alvarez deal. We expect to hear great news on those two fronts. All right. FIFA are set to accept a new law that will allow leagues to play at least one match in their league campaign abroad. As in how? A Premier League, La Liga, Serie A, or League One match could be played in the United States soon. You see, this whole thing came up when FIFA first of all agreed and accept the, 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 the other championship, uh, 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 Europa Super League, European Super League. When FIFA accept that deal, European Super League, and became an issue, it was dragged on until now the European, European Super League seems not to be, you know, working out. Now look at the idea they are bringing up. So it means that a Premier League now, a game from the Premier League now can be played in the USA. They are only, you see, I don't know whether that FIFA now there's a confusion out there in the head of the, the, the men there. I'm not too sure what they try to do. Well, I think we'll come back to this on a later date. Yes. All right. On some transfer news. On some transfer news. Quickly. Quickly. Madve Safonov to Paris Saint Germain. Madve Safonov to Paris Saint Germain. Here we go. Agreement still for Russian goalkeeper to join PSG from Kranosdorf as revealed on Sunday. 20 million package agreed. Add ons included. Contract until June 2029 for Sazonov. Who is set to sign after medical test? Now, this is a goalkeeper in the Russian league. Goalkeeper in the Russian league that Paris Saint Germain is signing right now. They want to strengthen their goalkeeping department. Actually, Paris Saint Germain position has not changed as they believe Madve Sazonov will regularly become their new goalkeeper soon. So, PSG are signing a new goalkeeper. Here we go. Breaking news. Another breaking news for you this morning, dear friend. <laughs> Tottenham Hotspur have reached an agreement with Tangai Indombele to terminate his contract with immediate effect. Immediate effect. Sports have now agreed on an amicable breach of contract that should be communicated eminently. So, Indombele now contract with Sports is being terminated. Next season, the player will have to find a new club. All right. Okay. There is a great news I'd like to bring for you before we move on. If Chelsea sign Olise before the Olympics in Paris, if Chelsea sign Mike Olise before the Olympics in Paris, it's possible they also will ask him to withdraw from Thierry Henry's France squad. If Chelsea is able to secure Michael Olise before the Olympics, and it's very, very likely that he will also be asked to withdraw from the Paris squad. I mean, that will represent France in the Olympic Games. If you were Michael Olise, will you accept the deal, the contract with Chelsea right now? Let me hear from you in the comment section. What do you think Chelsea should do? He's already named in the squad. Now, if he should accept to sign for Chelsea right now, it means that all Chelsea players, we already know, they are not going for the Olympic Games, right? Because our coach warned them in preseason to start a preseason early, all together. If you were Michael Olise, will you sign for Chelsea? Looking at this situation right now. Right. Okay. Julian Alvarez situation. Manchester City wants big money. And Alvarez will have to let them know he wants to leave face to face. Man City wants big money for Alvarez that Chelsea wants to sign. And not only Chelsea is interested, but it looks like Chelsea is the, is the leading candidate now for Alvarez. Now, City also don't want to let him go. Therefore, they want a big money. Any club that wants to buy him must pay big. In that case, for things to be softer for whoever that is going to buy him, big Chelsea, it means the player must have face-to-face -face talk with the club. That is the only way the club can, you know, rethink their position because they will not like to have an unhappy Julian Alvarez in their squad. They will not like to have it. 
They will not like to have a player that is unhappy in a team. So once they have a face-to-face -face talk, there's a great possibility that they will let him go. And so this is what Alvarez needs to do for the price also to come down. Otherwise, Man City will insist on the valuation. About, I think I'm hearing around 80 million pounds. 70 to 80 million pounds, dear friend. That is quite huge. Even though with his Premier League experience, we believe that he's going to be banging in the goals for Chelsea if he should come in. Yes, I personally believe so, dear friend. All right. In conclusion, big news. You see, our owners, Todd Bowley, Todd Bowley and co., what they actually try to do, dear friend, Chelsea's model copies Real Madrid. It is Real Madrid's model that Chelsea is copying. As you can see the picture there, Todd Bowley and the Real Madrid president. It is Real Madrid's model that Chelsea is trying to copy. Real Madrid, you know, which broke the bank with operations of Vinicius Junior and Rodrigo. Chelsea is inspired by them. Chelsea is inspired by those two young players as they intend to take a step forward as a club in the coming years by signing Kendrick Pires and Estabao. They already, we already have them. Kendrick Pires is already our player. And Estabao is also already our player. We already signed these two young players. They are all under 18. Next season, 2025, they will qualify to come to the EPL. Yes. Those are the examples that we need to be looking at. Now, the model of PS of, of, of Real Madrid is said that they buy young and talented. They look at you, you are young, they buy you. But the issue is they know how to blend the young, talented ones with well-established players. They don't just buy the young and talented. They have the men that mix up with the boys. Tony Cruz, Moedrick, just name them. We experience years of experience in the football world. Play football. They mix the young that they can. You see, for Jude Bellingham to achieve what he has achieved this season, it is because of the people around him, the players around him, the experienced players that were around him. It is of no chance, it's of no, you know, no luck that he exploded in the in, in the league, La Liga. It is because of the kind of play, the experience player that were around him. But now, Chelsea, we are letting go all of our experience players. We expect these young chaps to grow and develop by themselves. There will not be any winning mentality there. They need those who have won it before, those who have been there winning trophies, to be there to motivate them and show them how to win and win big. Dear friend, it is your breakfast. Let me leave you here. I shall be back with more exclusives and explosives. Have a great Sunday. See you in the next one when you see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.